What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back once again, and we have a lot to talk about with this film. Digimon Adventure of the Last Evolution. Uh, I really don't know where to begin with this film, other than the first day, if you are a major fan, if you are in a major fan of the original series, the original series that has to do with the movie, the very first Digimon movie, everything, uh, it really made me really wonder what happened because I'm very happy they did what they did with this film. This film, if you are a fan of this film, or Digimon in general, it is going to touch you emotionally because it, it did me. I ain't gonna lie here, guys. This this film really did. Uh, it, it showed so much for the original series, the original movies, everything. Uh, basically, the general census of this film is where <clears throat> it's, I want to say, Ty, Matt, and a few of the others, they are in their late teens, early 20s. Matt and uh, Ty are in their early 20s. Uh, they're trying to figure out what they still want to do with their lives. Izzy's working in an office company. Sora's doing something in trees. Um, TK's doing his own thing. Kari's doing her thing. As well as uh, Mimi has like a like a clothing online company and you have all these other uh, ones that's coming in and it's crazy because we do see where unfortunately they're all growing up and the general census of the story is someone comes in basically telling the Digidestin that there are issues going on where Digidestin are passing out and they don't know why and they're trying to figure out what happened and when this does happen we do see where they're trying to find a brand new digi digitized uh, Digimon called Eosmon that was designed, which we later find out. And what was so interesting about this is we do see in the later versions of the second generation, I guess you'd say, of the Digidestin, which is perfectly fine. But we do see where they also show like the second season's worth, which was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I had no problem with that. Also, there are other characters introduced as well. That uh, one was a former Digidestin, as well as also a uh, her bodyguard. But then later, it turns out to be an FBI agent because the character that comes to supposedly help them, she unfortunately did lose her Digimon, and she wants to help everybody else not lose theirs later on. But it's really interesting because, first of all, which the animation in this is absolutely incredible. This was absolutely incredible. This story, incredible. Just, just everything about this film, you, I, I love. And at the same time, I can't get enough of it because I grew up watching Digimon and I still love it to this day, as you guys know, with me reviewing the uh, remastered series of Digimon Adventure and everything else that has been shown within this. And throughout the, seri uh, throughout the story of this film, we do see a brand new Digi Evolution later on in the film, which I will talk to you guys about in a few minutes. But we also get to see where each of them pretty much go uh, into a coma, as well as the Digimon is supposed to disappear. And she informs them that when you get older, your potential of the reason why a certain Digimon uh, chooses you is to show basically your potential. And every time when you go higher and higher and higher, your potential is going to succeed and decrease as well. So you never know when uh, the time is going to come when possibly you're going to lose your Digimon, which is, is inevitable. And Ty, Izzy, Matt, they get extremely upset because to them, they're not just losing a so-called pet. They're losing a partner. They're losing a best friend. They're losing someone that has been around them there for like the last 10 plus years. And we do see where Ty and Izzy 
uh, as well as Matt. They pretty much take it the hardest and everyone else doesn't really know. Ty, he has an extremely hard time because, again, he doesn't know what he wants to do in his life. Same thing with Matt. And we do see where everybody else kind of does their own thing. But what's so cool about this is we do see where they finally realize what's going on is the one that comes in and helps them. She's actually behind it. She created EOS Mod and later gets found out that she wants to put uh, every digidescent into a coma pretty much and we do see where once that happens where she puts them into a coma and then we also do see where uh, she puts them as a child in their childhood memories and once that happens we do see where uh, Ty as well as Matt goes into that area and when that happens we do see where they have to fight against their own comrades in their childhood forms, which pretty much it does get a throwback to the original film. Uh, there's uh, certain throwbacks within the film that we do see, uh, such as when uh, Ty, as well as Matt, is overrun by their friends, uh, basically being mind-controlled, and basically they're wanting to grow up, but at the same time they're not wanting to grow up. There's still a part of them that wants to be a kid, and Ty and Izzy, uh, as well as Matt, well, mainly Matt and Ty are the main ones able to keep the front line open and keep going while everybody else is back into their childhood form and when that happens uh they do uh get informed that uh they start remembering okay we have to grow up it's part of life and just because that you know this is going to happen doesn't mean we're not going to see each other once again and what's really cool about this is that there's a lot of throwback to the original films because there's one scene where ty he literally grabs the whistle that kari had in the original movie and just blows the whistle and Agumon wakes up and he says that's Ty and he wakes up and he hears Ty and everyone starts kind of gets out of this uh, this like transition state and what's so interesting about this film is we also do see where uh, they even talk to uh, uh, Jedimon which is really uh, cool because Ty is still wondering okay what exactly is going on what can I do and it's inevitable that when you do get older, it is true that, unfortunately, you will lose your Digimon at some point. And that is pretty much what, what Jedi does say uh, to Ty is basically, it was like, well, why didn't you tell us anything? He's just well, it's pretty much saying of how long you, you have to live. And what's really interesting is that they really, the main character they don't show is Sora throughout the majority of the film. And there's maybe like four scenes with Sora and it does get shown that, unfortunately, she loses uh, P.L. Mon before anybody does. And it's extremely heartbreaking. Um, they're able to fight this character, uh, go up into another level after they're able to uh, bring back all their friends. And once that happens, everyone else is fighting all over the world with their Digimon. And Digimon is actually being shown now uh, throughout the world. So pretty much everyone knows what Digimon is or someone has a Digimon. And we also do see where uh, Eosmon does evolve by using uh, the one that created him as well as also reframing the memories of this character's other, uh, or her Digimon and the reason why, because she wanted to grow up fast. And when that happened, it basically was to her like, uh, you don't need me anymore is pretty much how it did occur. And when that happened, it really caused more issues with her mentally to where she felt like it was her fault. She wanted to bring her uh, Digimon back. And when Ty, as well as Matt, try to fight and everyone starts fighting, you do see where Sora does say, she says, I believe in you guys. But when that happens, we do see where her digi device is pretty much like a rock. It basically just covers in rock and then she's like, you know, crying because unfortunately she lost uh, Piomon. And then we do see where Matt, as well as uh, Ty, we do see where as soon as they're uh, they're basically like, okay, we have Lady B, because it was like a countdown of how long they had with their Digimon uh, to show that uh, they were basically almost out of time. And basically we see Gabumon and Agumon basically tell Matt and Ty, okay, one last time. And when they do that, it pretty much is the more they fight, the more they evolve, the less time they have with their uh, Digimon. And they use basically what they did later on in the series, which was combining the spirit of the Digimon into the human. And we got to see that finally with Matt as well as uh, Ty. And I found that extremely, it was just, it was a badass moment. But at the very, and when they finally beat the the, uh, the antagonist, she gets arrested. Uh, the one that later, that, who was her bodyguard, which was FBI agent, takes her to jail. Everyone pretty much does her same thing. Joe... 
He's uh, you know, was trained to become a doctor. Mimi does her thing, and Sora does her thing. But everyone just starts talking about it, and we see the last, pretty much the last scene with Ty talking to Agamon about <clears throat> just what is he going to do tomorrow, and also how big Ty's gotten, and does he remember last when they met? And then of course, uh, Gaumon asks his Matt what uh, he's going to do, and he shows his harmonica. So there's a lot of throwbacks to the original film in the series as well, and also characters. But this, the last part, again, if you guys are fans of the original Digimon series and the movie, this last scene will really hit you. And, and, and I ain't gonna lie, guys, it did hit me because I was like, wow, I can't believe they actually did that. Because you do see where, right when they're talking, and, and, and it's like, and, and they did it so well because the audience is waiting for this to happen. They know it's going to happen. And when they do it, it's like, wow, I can't believe they just did that. Because we do see where Agumon and Gabumon basically almost transform into what we see into the movie as like a digital butterfly or a speck of something and they leave. And then when they turn around, Gabumon and Agumon's gone. And then their digital device turns into stone. Very heartbreaking. And it it, it, it was very heartbreaking. It was very intense. Uh, I give major credit to the actors. Major credit to the actors. Uh, the way they did this uh, for OG fans, I loved them for it. I love this because I watched the I watched the one guys with the English voice actors. Uh, that is the one I grew up on. So don't try to don't try to rag on me too much. But this one really was uh, insane. But I enjoyed it. I love this film. I'm definitely gonna have to pick this up on DVD or Blu-ray when it does come out, or if it's it, or if it is out already. But overall, great film, great animation, great story, heartbreaking but great story, and the meaning of this film does really touch home for me because in every other way for any fan I think that uh, is having trouble growing up or is needing to grow up or wanting to grow up or has grown up but it's basically showing you you still can keep your kid's side but at the same time you have to grow up everyone has to grow up sooner or later to let go of childish things at the same time still keep those memories and just push on forward and that's pretty much what the meaning of this film was and they did a magnificent job with that they they kept true to the characters they kept true to the story they kept true to the culture of digimon they kept true of everything so there's not a whole lot about this that i can really judge other than of course seeing uh two of my favorite characters leave which is of course agumon and gabumon uh, i hate to see them leave but at the same time, I like how they stated at the very end of the film, which was, this is not really goodbye. This is, you know, until I see you again. And I love that. And I cannot wait to see what else they're possibly going to do. I know that the series is still going on right now uh, with remaster them doing it. So we may see more uh, about that as well as everything else. Now, I need to still watch the uh, other series they did, uh, which, I, again, I'll, I'll get to it at some point. But I really want to watch this. It took me a little bit to find it for the English dub. Again, I wanted to watch it in English dub. I preferred it. But again, the new transformation they did above that, I thought it was going to give them an extra boost to possibly uh, show that potential, unless this was the last potential they truly had to show with their Digimon partners. So once again, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Uh, love it. 10 out of 10. I, I really got to give this 10 out of 10. I really do because I, I really don't see a whole lot wrong with this film other than showing not a whole lot of Sora which I did not like, unfortunately, but I do like that they were able to bring all these characters together one last time. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. If you guys are new channels, consider about subscribing. Links down below. Let me know your thoughts about the film if you were able to watch it. Uh, what did you think about it? Did you enjoy it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? I'd like to know all your reasons down in the comments down below. But once again, hope you guys are enjoying your day. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. It helps me out. helps beat the algorithm. Uh, helps this video out. Get out to more Digimon. Uh, adventure fans or Digimon fans such as yourselves or, my, or me. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you on the very next one.